Welcome back to the Make or Break Shop. This week we're gonna be working on this tool wall. So I've been in the shop for a little while, but I haven't had a really good place to put all of my tools. I've just had them stuffed underneath the shelf, which isn't that great. And I decided I actually wanted to get some of the tools up on the wall. First off, I mixed for a cooler backdrop than uh, what I had going on before. But the big thing is I'm able to see everything at a glance and I can grab the tools really quick. There are a, a bunch of different ways you guys can do this. Uh, pegboard is probably the easiest way, but eventually everything just kind of falls apart. Stuff falls off the pegboard, it's super annoying. They're not that great. There are some other metal ones actually wall control makes a really cool metal pegboard and it's a good option if you can go that route. If you want to go to something more like this, a lot of people will use something called French cleats. So French cleats are pretty simple. Imagine if these were cut at angles and the idea is that if this was on the wall, this would go right on top and kind of sit on it and because it's cut at an angle, it's not gonna fall off. And people will do these long strips and then they can make these custom holders and kind of put them all over the place depending on where they want them. I did that actually a little while ago, but I found that I really didn't move it around. So for this, I was like, I'm just gonna screw it directly into the backer board. And if I wanna move it, moving the screws is not super hard for me to do. So to build this guy, what we did is we're using a half inch plywood that is for the back. I cut that down to size and then I spray painted it black. I wanted something a little bit darker behind me. I was hoping that would make for a little bit better backdrop. Now that I've got this thing spray painted and it is dried, I am pretty much blocking things out on where I want stuff to go. So I've marked out where uh, this logo is gonna go right here in the middle. It might be a little bit smaller. Plan is to CNC this out. But the big thing is, is I'm gonna be making tool holders. So my thinking for this wall is I've kind of split it up into two different areas. One is gonna be for more traditional hand tool, woodworking stuff. And the other side is gonna be for catch-all tools that I pretty much use all the time. And then I attach this to the wall with the studs. All right, so first we're gonna be using this guy, a little stud finder, um, which is nice because this actually sticks up once it finds something to attach to. Magnetic, and so I'm gonna mark off where the studs are just with some tape. And so I actually just went back and I spray painted some of those spots just so it would cover up all of the screws and you really wouldn't be able to see them. More than likely, they're gonna get covered up by tools anyway, but I wanted just a really nice clean black surface. So for the actual holders, I'm gonna be doing a few different things. So the very first one we're gonna be doing is for all of these screwdrivers. So it's pretty much gonna be a block of wood with holes drilled out. And so you can see that I have just gotten some more of this half inch plywood and I'm taking it to the drill press and drilling those holes out. I could do this with the CNC if I wanted to make it exact, um, but I just want something that's gonna work pretty easy for the first one. Attached it to a little bracket and screwed it directly into the wall. Then for uh, the chisels, the exact same idea. I drilled out the holes so it would just fit for the chisel to go in and then I used a jigsaw to cut out the little groove so it could slide inside of. Moving on, some of the other big ones that we made are this tape holder, uh, which is really just this kind of shelf that's at a slight angle so that I can just drop this tape on top of. So I thought about doing it where they would just go on top of a rod, but then I'd have to pull the rod out of the entire thing. But having it to where I can just pull them directly off makes it a lot easier. I could make this a lot longer depending on what other tape that I get. And then there's a couple other big ones that I made. They are for my hand planes. Again, this is just a little shelf that's got a lip on the side so that it can't fall off. Um, those are really easy to put together. I just did the lips and I brad nailed them together. Another shelf pretty much like that is for the tape measures, except I've got little lips on the sides as well, so they fit. And this is the one I really think I wanna change. This is mainly for like pliers and snips. You just put them right across right there. But especially with like these guys, they, uh, they don't fit straight. They kinda go at an angle, which is uh, a little bit annoying.
And the next step, I made just a little small box that I can drop my pencils and Sharpies uh, and all that kind of stuff inside of. This was actually out of thinner material. This was out of quarter inch plywood and um, I just made the box and glued it together. It doesn't look pretty, but it's doing its job. And then I did a divider right down the middle just so I could fit some more of these in and they would be a little bit more organized once they got in there. So projects like these are a ton of fun to do. And this channel would not be possible without the awesome supporters over on Patreon. If you are a Patreon supporter, you get early looks at upcoming projects. And if there are 3D models, like this actual miter station that is behind me on the bottom, um, you can download the plans and the models for free, as, as well as supporting this channel. I also do a podcast every single week where I interview makers that you probably have heard of here on YouTube. So if you'd like to support this channel, there is a link down below, or you can go to patreon.com for slash make or break shop. All right, let's get back to the build. And then last but not least, there are a bunch of just custom holders for individual tools. For the most part, so those are just gonna be this, a square that's drilled directly into the wall so that I can put these things on top of. For my mallets and hammers, those are pegs that I actually drilled out, glued the pegs in, and so these can then just slide in. And what tool wall wouldn't be complete without your logo? This is just a super thin piece of plywood. I actually tried to cut this out with my CNC, but my router died on me, so I'm waiting to fix it. So instead I got to use the laser cutter. So this is just quarter inch plywood that I laser cut. Then I spray painted it white, and then I just brad nailed it in. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it does a pretty good job. And last but not least, I wanted to make a shelf at the very, very top. Eventually stuff's gonna go up on top of it, but it gave me a great excuse to attach a light. So I am cutting out all of the wood for the shelf right now. And then I'm attaching it together with brad nails and glue. and then I am mounting the light directly to that shelf. And something that I actually changed up once I got it up is, so when we're at shots like this, what I found is that this light was super bright and you can see it. So I just added the super thin piece of wood almost as a shade in front of it so that, especially when I'm recording, you don't see that bright light here at the top, you're just getting the light coming down and it's a fun place to put stickers. So this is a mallet that I don't use a ton, but I think it looks cool and I made it a really long time ago. I would actually like to know if there are other tools that you guys would put up on a tool wall or how you would put a tool wall together. Whether you're gonna do French cleats or you're going to do pegboards, let me know in the comment below. I actually have a build video for this mallet you guys can check out right there and I'll see you there in a second. So until next time, go make or break something in your shop. See you guys.